Hey guys, so I just wanted to do a webinar for you guys, um, a little mini training video about any meeting. Since I know you guys have upcoming webinars, I wanted to make sure you knew how to actually use it. So first you go to anymeeting.com and then you log in or create a sign in. Um, preferably use something that's under your committee name, something that um, people can recognize under the committee name. but Or you can log in with your Gmail if that's what you have. So you log in. And you schedule a meeting. Um, one thing is if there's something up here about updating your Java, make sure that you update it. Uh, you might have to update your browser because it's having some issues in regard to that. So if you schedule a meeting. Um, and then you can enter in the name. So let's say this is... Um, webinar about me. Okay, cool. Um, and it's on the 14th, and you get to choose a time to be at 2.15, whatever, central time. It's not reoccurring. Um, you can enter your presenters. You can choose from your Google contacts, or you can just put them in. So let's make... Um, and then the meeting invitation, you put in a little message about what it is, why they should come, etc. Um, for the attendees, I would suggest putting in their club presidents and the board, at least, um, so at least each club knows what's going on. Put a little message in there about what the webinar is about, who's doing it, why it's important they should go. Um, don't allow attendees to share, and you can make the list of public if you'd like. Use the microphone and speakers and make it a public event. Okay. Next. The next thing is a registration form. This is really important. Um, so we'll just copy off of one that I created uh, before. So you can put in whatever text you want in there. So you put the same description that you put in the invitation would be fine. You don't need these two. You don't really need a question unless you want one. None of that. Um, and it'll remind people a week before, a day before, an hour before the meeting when they register. Um, there's no maximum amount. Don't require a password. And then we don't have to do a survey, so we're going to skip that part. Um, and then here's a preview. So this is what a registration form will look like. Um, they just put their name and their email address and they complete the registration and it'll send them an invitation in their email which has a link to the meeting. Okay, so there you just create your meeting and there is a login and there is the registration form. So when they register put their name, so Sabrina let's do that Oops. All right, so I just registered. Um, so I'm going to get an email. This was my invitation that I would get. Um, so people who you invite would get this invitation um, to register and receive the login procedure. Um, and then you would also get, when you register, you get this, and you can click the join the meeting whenever the time comes. Um, so yeah, it's that simple. And then you can share, we could share this URL on the Facebook page, and LTGs can send it out as well. Um, yeah, so we'll, I'm going to do like a brief showing of a meeting. So let's enter an active meeting, whatever, I'm just showing you what a meeting looks like. Um, Okay, so you're, you're a presenter, so you say yes, hello, oh look at me, hi, okay, so there's different things in here, um, you can allow people to share, um, you can allow certain people to share, but I would suggest just not allowing people to share and only, you know, in the presenter section of the thing, registration, that you put the certain people that you want to be able to share. 
um, you can share your screen and there's a couple different options there's the share your screen and then this one this one isn't available yet but this YouTube one is you could put like a URL in and then show a YouTube video uh, the share your screen option gives you different things this has been acting kind of weird today so I don't know if it's gonna work that's why I have to do a video instead of a webinar within a webinar. But um, you can share your full screen, which will show everything, or you can choose different applications. So if you're doing a PowerPoint, I would suggest selecting an application, which would be the PowerPoint. That way it only shows you giving the PowerPoint and not your background or anything like that. So you can do that. Um, you can also record. I would suggest recording it so we can put this on the district website, which would be really cool and important. Um, then there are polls. Oh, and when you press record it, it starts when you click it and stops when you click it. So it's not like it's recording the second you start the meeting. So make sure you start it when you start the meeting. Um, and then there's polls. So there's the standard can you hear me poll. You just start voting. And then this is going to show up on their screen and they can click yes or no. And then you press stop when you feel that they're done. To add a new one, you get the question and then all the options. And that's it pretty easy and then you can see you can have the attendees see like see the results or not see the results it's up to you and then you can lock the meeting to stop um, additional people from coming in and the meeting and then here's this your mood um, for your attendees there's the I'm fine I have a question slow down speed up agree or disagree that could be something you can show the attendees in the beginning to let them know that they can do that they also have the chat box over here. This will show your attendees, or if you don't allow it, it obviously won't. Um, but they can send a message to everyone or to presenters. I think those are the only options. But um, yeah, that's it. Um, if you have any questions, let me know, and I hope this was helpful.